Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmazano here. And when I did this past video um, on the new Pantera vids, um, I made an audacious statement basically saying, where do you find heavy bands groove like this today, right? The emphasis on groove, not heavy, right? Not necessarily... You know, do you have a breakdown? Do you have all these other different intricate parts? Because there's plenty of those. But I'm talking groove. And man, people came out of the woodwork. That's one of the great things about making strong statements on YouTube is that it's going to get people upset and they're going to share their opinion. And that's how you find the new stuff. So more than any other band... TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, email, people sending me stuff. Knocked Loose was the number one suggestion by everyone. And finally, the straw broke the camel's back when George Geekus, he's the uh, bass player for the Revivalists. Uh, make sure you check him out, by the way. He shot it to me in my DMs. He's like, look, man, first track opening Outbreak Fest 2022 it's got the best mix available of them online. Start from the beginning, ice cold. So I hit the button. I got it queued up. Ice cold, ladies and gentlemen. Knocked loose. Outbreak Fest 2022. Hit me. All right, okay, three, three, three or four crazy things just happened. One, that fear factory, that wah, 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 wah. Dude, okay, first of all, this mix is incredible. All right, this, listen, look, groove one. Get the fuck up! Then there was groove two, so again, stay with me here. It's like half time and then into regular time. The opposite of what you usually get. Usually it's regular time, then you break into half time. We're starting in half time and then you go into regular time, but it's loose. The groove is there. Okay, keep going. And the. See, that's one of like the. the, the I don't know who did it first. God, I. I said Fear Factory, but I know that that's not like the answer. Someone in the comments will let me know. But, you know, I come from the old school metal world. You know, I'm 39, so, you know, I know I'm not old, but, you know, Pantera, Slayer, Anthrax, you know, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, Nothing Face, um, you know, if Fear Factory, um, uh, you know, all, all those types of things. And, um, and uh, just that work, work. That's that's such that's such a like a like an integral part now of a metal breakdown. Like you can't just have the breakdown. There's got to be that dissonant thing in there, right? So like you can like I'm hearing like right off the bat, I'm hearing three different things when they're like, oh yeah, I learned that and that was awesome, and I learned that and that was awesome, and I learned that and that was awesome, and you get all three of them within the first twenty seconds. <laughs> Let the roll. Okay, I don't know what is going on here. Like, 
Like, this is going to be one of these few times that I'm truly at a loss for words. Okay. Okay. Here are my thoughts right off the bat. Now, obviously, I haven't learned a goddamn thing on this yet. It's, it's happening too fast. Okay. One, I hinted at it before, but I can hear the influences almost like you're picking out spices from a spice rack. And you're like, oh, I'd like more cumin. May I have some Slayer right now, please? Like this part. Hear that, that atonal Jeff Hanneman madness? That's what I'm hearing. But then, dude, there was that total Pantera-esque breakdown, that Fear Factory kind of thing. The, okay, forget all that. The mix. I am not a sound engineer. I don't know anything about recording. Literally know nothing. Um, almost to, well, no, definitely to a fault. Um, but this has to be doctored up. This has to be, this has to be uh, you know, polished in some way, shape, form, or another. Because it, it, someone in the comments will know. Because it sounds, uh, uh, it sounds too good. Okay, that's just the truth. It sounds too good. Um, three, and the most important thing is the energy. The fact that 2022, post COVID, whatever, forget about it. Come on stage. Come on stage. Please join us on stage. Get up here. Man, love it. Love it. Move someone. That. I think. What the fuck is that? Like we're in the neighborhood of F. If you're not used to learning these types of tunes, which I'm not, um, look at that guy. I love it. Um, these things aren't going to come quick to me. Like for, for all you guys out there that are steeped in this stuff, you're like, dude, come on. I know what that is. Yeah, not me. I, I'm not, you know, I'm in standard E here, but here we, but let's, whatever, whatever. Doesn't matter. Vibes what matters. What the fuck? Got the China and everything. See, this is what I mean. Again, I, I, I'm sorry for starting and stopping, but I'm not. Again. This part could be its own song. Each little part of this song, th th this could be like six little songs, like this drum groove right here. This, this, I, I hear Sepultura. Ah! Can't you just hear Max Cavalera like getting ready to bust loose there? Like it, each, each part, I'm telling you, it's like picking a spice out of a spice rack. It's like, yes, you know, I, I, Ugh. I want some I want some white zombie here. Get for the fire. A tear in the fabric of Whoa. Every, every 20 seconds, there's something new that could be its own thing. Okay, we come out of this, we come out of this Tom beat, right? And we immediately uh, touch back on what we did in the beginning, okay? We go into this halftime feel, which then goes into this regular time feel. But now we've elevated. We've added some extra pushes in the kick. And then, I don't know, I don't have, I don't have words to what happens next. We're going to watch it again. <laughs> A tear in the fabric of Rome. See, I misspoke. That's not even what happened. It was halftime and it went even like half of that, but the pushes doubled. Get 
for the fire A tear in the fabric of all I can't even, I can't even do it. I mean, what the hell? drawing a complete blank. I just, you know, sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes the lyrics take you away, right? Sometimes, sometimes the lead playing takes you away and that's all you can focus on. Sometimes the riff takes you away and that's all you can focus on. Sometimes the drum takes you, takes you away and that's all you can focus on. And, he, and in these unedited reaction videos, you know, you get what you get first take. But let me, let me finish it and then I'll say my, my key takeaway. Yes. <laughs> All right, that was it. That was the first song. That was, that was where light divides the holler. Point. Doesn't matter. I tried to teach something. It's not happening today. Uh, point is, uh, everyone out there, George, you are right. That the key takeaway is filthy, nasty, disgusting groove. The thing that I can't get past though is how. That was like at least six, maybe seven or eight specific different groove modulations, if you will. Like you can modulate a groove, whatever. Point. You get what I'm trying to say. You're picking up what I'm putting down. Um, and each one of them was so distinct. And that was the first song in a whole set. And my gut feeling is that if they're not saving each one of these awesome uh, grooves for its own song, or at least two per song, that they probably have like 50 in the bag, which means we're going to have to dive deep here. I'm impressed. I'm truly impressed. Um, I sincerely apologize for uh, not showing you a damn thing on the guitar. Um, <clears throat> but that's just not what time it is. I love you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this entertaining, please hit subscribe. It really helps. Um, if you want to uh, leave a message in the comments of where I should go next with this band or another band, please do. Uh, please hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, everywhere is at GuitarGate. Um, and uh, if you want to support the channel, become part of the inner circle, if you will, and uh, pick what comes next on YouTube. You do so by taking my lessons and courses. Uh, it's the first link in the description. It's called GuitarGate. You probably won't want to because you didn't see me teach anything or learn anything. The link is there all the same, my friends. Have a great day. Keep the guitar in your hands. And I realize my age is showing. Hit me with the new stuff. I need it.